Reimagines, and this is Ryan's Reimagine, where I will teach you all the possibilities of thrifting and DIYing. Today, I'm going to work on my garland that will go on my mantle. This is like my base garland. It's actually just a nine foot garland that I added lights to. It's a pretty cheap garland. I just added lights to it. And I think it was a, a 20 foot or it was, yeah, 20 foot strand of lights that I just wrapped around the garland. Um, so that's gonna be the base. And then on top of that, I'm going to add what's called deco mesh. It's a 30 foot long strand of deco mesh and it has some gold and some cream tones in it, which I think will match well with my tree. If you saw my thrift haul, you kind of see that I have like some gold and um, tones that are gonna go on the tree. Um, and the tree is right next to my mantle, so I think this will go well with it. And what I would typically use on top of the deco mesh would be a ribbon, but I don't have a wide enough ribbon um, to go over it, so I'm going to try and work with what I have. And I also want to try and incorporate some natural elements in with some of the sparkly stuff because glammy isn't really my style. I like to incorporate some natural and um, more earthy tones into uh, my Christmas day for with the, the sparkly stuff. So I'm going to add this lace. It's like a lace, a wide lace. I guess you would call it a ribbon because it's pretty long. So I'm going to weave that, I think, over the deco mesh onto here. So that's the first base garland. Well, So what I'm going to do is start by adding the deco mesh to the base garland. And what I use for that, I'm going to use some pipe cleaners to tie, to tie them to the, the garland. I'll start at the end and just keep weaving it all the way around. I'm going to put the garland on one side and the deco mesh on the other. do is I'm going to take it at the very end because um, this part will fray if you don't have it adhered tightly. So I'll take it all the way to the end and I typically, the, they're green pipe cleaners, they're going to be covered up so I think that it won't really make a difference. Um, you won't see it and I'm going to over, I'm going to actually put this on like the inside, flip it around to the other side, if that makes sense, um, so that it'll come back around and then I'll just weave it all the way through, all the way across. So I'll take this and wrap it all the way around. I'm actually gonna stick it through the deco mesh. The deco mesh is really pliable. I actually had this already. It's from Walmart a few years ago. Um, so I actually stuck it through the deco mesh and then I'm going to just twist tie it with the pipe cleaner and wrap it back around and twist tie it again on the other side. So it's, it's really adhered to it. And then I'm going to take about six inches of the deco mesh. Actually, I think I'm going to put this on that side. I'm going to take about six inches of the deco mesh. Six to eight, I think, should be a good enough amount. And I'm just going to find another spot on the garland and put it, adhere it to the garland. So that's probably about more like eight inches and I'll move it about six inches down. I want it to bubble up a little bit. Same thing, I'm gonna take the pipe cleaner and kind of weave it through the deco mesh. If you can see what I'm doing. Um, so yep, just weave it through in a few different places. And then twist tie it on. And the 
this will help weaving it through will help camouflage it. Let's tie it again so it's really secure. Okay, so I'm going to do that all the way down to the end. I'm going to use this lace. Um, it's from my Aunt Joan, so she gets the honorable mention for this portion of the video. I'm going to start, it's not long enough to wrap it all the way around, all the way from end to end. So I'm actually going to start three in. So um, one, two, three. So I'm going to start wiring it to the garland here. I'm going to use this, it's called wire jute cord from the Dollar Tree. I already cut a few pieces of it. So I'm going to start just like I did with the other one, I'm gonna weave it through. Find a good spot, weave it through. And then twist it on the, to the garland. This will help to kind of camouflage some of the green of the pipe cleaners. The wire jute is just like a pipe cleaner, but it's, it looks a little better and it goes a little better with the garland. So just weave it through the lace and then wire it to the other side. So come from the un underside and wire it on. And so I'm going to do that all the, not on every one. I'm going to probably do it, I'm going to leave it wrapped up because it's a little easier to work with that way. I'm going to wrap this around all of the deco mesh and I'm going to probably wire it every other one. I don't want to wire all of them because I want it to have a little drape. And so I'll just wire it probably every one or two around. Put up my, I think these are stocking hooks, um, but I, we don't have stockings. Um, so I just use them for my garland every year. Um, make sure you know, since these do have lights on it, make sure you know which end has the plug. Um, and which end has the, the male and the female end. The male end is gonna get plugged into a socket and um, we'll have power strip and the female end is gonna get plugged to the tree. And then again, so this is a little loose. I'll probably wire this from the back side so you don't have as much sag. So I'll just play with it until I get it to the way I like it. So what I made were these pom-poms. I'll show you in a second how I made them. I made about 11 of them. Uh, and then if you saw my thrift haul, you saw those pine cones. These are the pine cones. And then I just tied a little jute string around it. Um, and I'm gonna use these as sort of like ornaments to put on, add to, to the garland. And then I also have these wooden bells. I have three of them. They are from this place called The Way Shed. In Chicago they actually sell used and secondhand arts and craft supplies and these were in there um, they strangely had a small hole on the top and a small hole on the bottom but it didn't go all the way through um, so to make it more like an ornament um, I actually drilled a hole off camera because um, I don't want to embarrass myself or my father with my power tool using skills or lack thereof um, if I lived at home, I would have handed this to my dad and said, hey, can you drill a hole in this for me? And it would have come back with a hole in it. Um, but I had to drill it myself and my fingers are still intact. I survived. It took me a minute, but it worked. There's a hole in there that now makes these um, more like ornaments. So I'm going to string, put some um, yarn through it, and then I will adhere it to the garland as well. So first I'm going to show you how to make the pom-pom it was really easy so what I did was I wrapped this um, cord around or it's actually just yarn um, this is from a bag of yarn that I got from my grandma um, so thanks to my grandma she gets another honorable another honorable mention in this video 
Um, so I ended up using basically almost the whole skinny yarn. This was all that I have left and I used the rest of it. It was brand new and the rest of it was used to make the, the other pom-poms. So what I'm gonna do is wrap it around my fingers. I'm gonna wrap it 75 times. And then I'm gonna cut the end, leave it on my fingers, and then I'm gonna cut about that much. I don't know, I guess that's probably about six, maybe I have a ruler here, I'll measure it for you. I'm gonna cut about eight inches of the yarn. And I'm gonna slide this off of my fingers. Gently slide it off my fingers to keep it intact. And then I'm gonna slide the eight inch piece of yarn underneath and tie it really tight right in the middle. So you'll tie a knot. Again, you wanna make sure it's in the middle Tie it once, really tight. Try and leave it tight. Keep it as tight as you can. And then I put my pinky in the middle of it and tie it one more time. Pulling it tight and then quickly pulling it tight again. And then what I do is cut all the ends. quite a few ends so when you go back and clean it up you will try and I try to find all the ends that I missed okay so then you'll have something that looks a little crazy I shake it and be a little dusty shake it shake it as much as I can and then I again look for any that weren't snipped before snip those and then I will give it a haircut. So now I have about 12 of these. Um, and then I'm also going to show you how I tied the, I tied some jute. This is just some jute twine from the Dollar Tree. I tied it, I found the center and wrapped it around the pine cone. Um, the pine cone is a little tight, so I just kind of find some openings throughout it and weave the jute cord around, around the pine cone. And then I tie it into a, just a regular knot be careful with it so you don't break it um, if you don't find these thrifted you can probably find them in craft stores um, Michaels Joanne fabric something like that so I tied that off and what I'm gonna do is tie all of these plus the wooden bells to the garden like ornaments so I'm gonna use the pipe cleaner basically like as a, a hook to fish the the yarn through I just tied it, wrapped it around the yarn, and then I will push the pipe cleaner through the hole that I made. And then there you go, you can pull the pipe cleaner off. And there are three of these, so I think I'm gonna try and put them, tie them to the garland where they come up and then they'll hang down. And then the cool thing about the way that I did it is they, I could use this as like an ornament in the future. Then I'm gonna get some of the pom-poms and use those. I'm gonna place them 
um, and then I'll tie them on once I figure out exactly where I'm going to put them all. So I'll just place them in a few places. I'll sit up there nicely. Until I'm ready to tie them. Just to give me a general idea of where I want them to go. And then I'll do the same thing with the pine cones. Just put a few in a few places to give me some ideas. Drop one. I don't have quite as many of these. Oops. Losing some stuff here. But just place them in a few areas to get some visuals. Voila, everything's all tied down. I think it turned out pretty great. I had some leftover rose gold ornaments from the tree that I incorporated in. I scattered them throughout, just some varying sizes. Again, I try to make everything a little cohesive. So I incorporate elements that I use in different parts of my Christmas decorations. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you think about this garland.